Waste Shark, sebuah robot sekitar 1,5 meter ini membantu membersihkan perairan di Rotterdam, Belanda dari sampah plastik. So we wanted it to be as easy to deploy as possible, as easy to capture the trash and bring it back to land, make it safer so that the operator stood on the shore rather than was in the water, make it battery operated so it was zero emissions, not diesel or fossil fuel powered, and it was easy to store away. A lot of the time uh, our customers have bigger boats uh, that need a captain and lots of maintenance and, and a lot of mechanical uh, movement to make them work. We wanted something very sleek, very simple, gets the trash out and starts recycling faster than, than what has been done right now. Di bagian Tenggara Amerika Serikat ada teknologi dikembangkan Osprey Initiatives di Alabama yang juga membantu menjaga kebersihan perairan setempat. So in the five years since we started, it's amazing the change in our personal footprints and how we are protecting what's downstream. So the products that are out there are becoming more and more recyclable. We love recycling because if it's recycled, it's not becoming litter. So you know the awareness, what we're doing, and being smart about it. People are really bringing that home, and the best way to fight litter and litter in the water is it never becoming litter on the land. Sementara di Baltimore, negara bagian Maryland, mesin dijuluki Mr. Trash Wheel membantu pembersihan sampah dari perairan setempat. Penelitian baru-baru ini menunjukkan jumlah limbah plastik yang mencemari perairan dan laut di seluruh dunia bisa mencapai sekitar 8 juta metric ton setiap tahunnya. Dan ini angka rata-rata karena kadang bisa mencapai belasan juta metrik ton. Karena itu penting untuk menangani sampah plastik sebelum bisa mencapai laut. Menurut Direktur Program Penanganan Sampah Laut Badan Pengawas Laut dan Atmosfer AS NOAA. Once plastic or trash ends up in the ocean, it's very hard to collect because it does break down and so it gets smaller and smaller. And that's just hard to get out to our big open oceans and collect the trash there. We'd much rather collect that trash closer to shore, which is easier, it's less costly. Tapi bukan hanya teknologi yang perlu dikembangkan, kebiasaan manusia juga perlu diubah. The most important thing with marine debris or plastic or trash in our ocean is we don't want it there in the first place. So while all of these devices are incredibly helpful, we really need to work on the upstream solutions of generating less waste from the consumer standpoint, but also the industry standpoint. And so there's a lot of different players that are going to help solve this problem overall. Teknologi seperti Waste Shark kini banyak diminati dan telah dipesan di berbagai negara, termasuk AS, Inggris, dan Singapura. Dari Scarborough, Maine, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.